Oh, yes. Uh, and very deep emotions. It's, uh, I'm tearing up. <laughs> because there is nothing quite like when, okay, you have been working on a book, you have read it umpty scrump times, you have gone through copy edits, you, you hate this book because you have read it so many times. And then it, you get to release day, you have the release day nerves where, you know, I, I joke that I stick my head in a bucket. Release day is some of the most stressful stuff that I've, I've ever had to deal with. And then it goes out into the world and you're already three books past, but then years can go by and you get a letter or an email. Somebody says, this saved me. You know, this, this, and I just got one this morning, so I'm thinking about it. But you reach through time, you reach through distance, you reach through these tiny little squiggles of ink on a page. You commit this sorcery, and somebody else finds comfort. And for me, telling stories is I, I don't really see whoever's lost, but they get moving because I went down into the cave and dragged up this story out of whatever. And I went through copy edits on it. And I went through all the stress and all the pain and all the nerves. And it is absolutely worth it if even one person finds value in it. If it saves somebody else from despair, then all of that, the hours and hours and months of agonizing work is absolutely worth it. So that's not why I do it. I do it because I'm incapable of doing anything else, but it affects me very deeply. And that is why I have a commitment to emotional truth in stories. And that is why I believe in the right ending instead of the happy ending. And that's why I feel very strongly that there is a compact between the writer, the author, and the audience. And the audience suspends disbelief. The audience steps into your world. The audience goes with you on this wild ride to wherever. And in return, they expect the very best that you can give on the page. And they expect you never to punk out, never to look away from the difficult bits. And they expect you to tell the truth while telling lies for a living. But they expect you to do your absolute best and not lie or punk out. And that is a holy compact. I feel very strongly about this, as you can tell. For me, talking about my readers, I mean, naturally, th these people have have helped me raise my children. They have helped me feed my children. The, uh, the books that you see here have been bought because of my readers. And I feel my responsibility to them very keenly, never to lie, never to truckle. I think that that was a, a Frank McTeague. You know, I, I did my best. I, I told the truth. No, Frank Norris in McTeague, that was the name of the book. You know, I did my best. I told the truth. I never truckled. And I, I think about that a lot. So the compact between the author and the audience is holy. And God knows if you ever fall down on that for even a moment, the whiff of bullshit will drive people away faster than anything else. So that's how I feel about that.